Mods, they're what keeps games alive. If you didn't know, mods are typically fan-made modifications to games. Sometimes they can contain entirely new campaigns and stories that aren't remotely connected to the base game. You may be aware of ROM hacks, which are their own thing and not the focus of this video. Instead, I wanted to highlight the somewhat smaller communities surrounding the 3DS Fire Emblem games. This is because I simply don't hear anyone talking about them, and there's just so much love and support from fans that I want to make sure that their work is being seen. I'm V, and this is the wild world of Fire Emblem modding. So there are two types of mods for the 3DS Fire Emblem games both of which being add-ons, meaning that they do not add brand new campaigns or stories. The first one would be surface level, cosmetic mods that do not change the gameplay by much, and the other would be expansion mods, which can drastically change the way you play the game. Please keep in mind that for all mods for all of the games, while there are many compatible with actual 3D hardware, not all of them will be. Please check the mod pages and read the installation instructions carefully before downloading and applying any mods. First, we're going to be looking at Shadows of Valentia. Our first mod up is the SOV Skin Tweaks mod by Moonling. Get used to this name, by the way. They're pretty much the MVP of FE3DS modding. Perhaps it was an artistic choice, but for some reason, dark skinned characters in Shadows of Valentia have this green complexion to them, but only their 3D model counterparts. This mod corrects this and gives characters complexions that better match their portraits. Next up is the Echoes Gender Lock Removal mod by LJ Refley. As you can tell by the title, this mod removes the class gender restrictions and allows some really unique options like this. Or some other options like an Archer Fae, similar to Heroes, or Saint Leon. <laughs> Tying into this mod, we have the Spell Lists for Everyone mod by Aquawine. Since the spell lists that a unit has are preset, if you set a unit to be a class that the devs didn't intend for them to be, they'll simply just not have any spells. This mod fixes this issue, meaning that a Saint Leon is no longer completely defenseless. <laughs> Finally, we have the Route Swap mod by Izumi Niche, who is also the developer of the popular Oifei bot for Discord. This mod completely flips the game on its head and swaps Alms Party for Celica's and vice versa. Due to many of these mods having conflicting files, I wasn't able to play with all of them at once. However, I was able to personally use this one. If you are going to use this one, make sure you start a new save file, since I didn't and all of the characters ended up being completely messed up. I expected the prologue to be unchanged, but I was shocked to see Conrad instead of Mycin. Celica also had her golden dagger for some reason, but otherwise this chapter was completely fine. Surprisingly enough, the in-game cutscenes have also changed, though they can be a bit odd considering that the dialogue stays exactly the same. <gasps> Alms section tends to be very easy with all of the magic users versus assorted bandits, especially since none of Celica's units are trainee types. Overall, I obviously would not recommend this mod for a first time playthrough, but if you're one of the people who play this game over and over again and want something new, I give this a 100% recommendation. Next up, we're moving on to Awakening. First, we have the FE13 Gender Lock Removal Project, once again by LJ Refley and Mathcat. It's the same story as the one for Shadows of Valentia, so we're gonna move on to our next mod, PLC Robin by Manikeet Smoocher. This mod lets Robin be dark skinned, and that's about it. Personally, I would have preferred if this was loaded separately as a texture mod, since as it is currently, it can actually overwrite some other mods. Next, we have Awakening Textures Plus by Mathcat and Moonling. This mod aims to add unique textures when reclassing certain units. Some examples on the mod page include Morgan, Olivia, Noe, and Lusa. Next, we have the Unit Select Voice and Faithful Voice Select mods by Moonling and Boolean1 respectively. 
This mod adds a small voice clip when selecting a unit, replicating the same effect from Shadows of Valentia and Three Houses. I've got you. All right. For victory. Just look at the brute. Go for it. Who goes first? Teach is right here. Look out. The Faithful Voice Select mod is an expansion of the previous one, which adds different lines depending on how much health your unit has left, and claims to have better compatibility with other mods. Ironically though, I ended up using the first mod because I had compatibility issues. While not necessary, I highly recommend this mod if you're a returning player, or a new one from Shadows of Valentia or Three Houses. And finally, we have Project Thabes by Heritor, L498, and Nya. But first, some background. If you didn't know, Shadows of Valentia actually has post-game content, meaning that after you finish the main story, Alm and Selica's combined party travel to Arcanea and uncover the backstory behind Grima from Awakening. This was also expanded on in the Valentian Accordion. Obviously, since Shadows of Valentia came out years after Awakening, it in turn overwrites and retcons some of the information from Awakening. Project Thaves began as an attempt to fix things such as plot holes, but ended up expanding to what it is currently. Most maps are remixed to give more of a challenge or generally make more sense, like giving more diversity to enemy class makeups. This also includes things such as new inheritable classes, new supports for the originally Robin-only units, and brand new playable characters, which I'll leave as a surprise for anyone interested. Overall, this has gotten a lot of praise from those who've actually played it, and I would have liked to play more if I was actually good at the game. And last, but certainly not least, we have Fates. This one actually has the most mods available and seems to have the most amount of support from the community. First, we have the Fates Ghosting Shader Fix by Moonling. As you may have seen from my footage, the 3DS FE games all have an issue of this weird bloom or ghosting effect that gets worse the higher your resolution is. So, since I decided to record in 4K, this is very visible during some scenes. This mod disables that, saving your eyes from this effect. Up next is the Voice Select Redux mod, again by Moonling. This is the same story as Awakening, so we're moving on to the Fates Icon Project by Moonling. I told you, Moonling really is the MVP of the FE 3DS modding scene. Anyways, this mod adds brand new icons for over 200 different weapons, items, scrolls, etc. Some of them were ported from Awakening or Shadows of Valentia, but most of them were handmade specifically by Moonling. Next, we have the Weapon Model Fix mod, again by Moonling. This mod simply restores some missing weapon models. These four mods I consider essential so I highly recommend giving them a download the next time you want to play Fates. The next mod is called It's Summertime by Kamito3747. This mod restores the swimsuits that were cut out of the international versions of the game. I didn't include this with my essential mods list since it's just cosmetic, and I'm sure some of you might not be comfortable with this mod, but there are many of you out there that do not like censorship of any kind, so this mod stays here as a simple recommendation. Next, we have the Combined HD Pack for Fates by Zuron501. This is a comprehensive HD mod that overhauls almost all in-game assets, including character artwork, outfits, UI and fonts, my room characters, and more. I probably don't have to say this, but this probably has a 0% chance of working on an actual 3DS. Also, keep in mind that this is going to be relatively intensive on your hardware, so if you don't have a dedicated gaming computer, I wouldn't recommend this mod. However, the mod does come in multiple optional pieces meaning you could download only the HD fonts and character portraits, for example. If you want to try this mod out, slowly download different pieces of it, and if you notice your game starting to run slow, uninstall some of it until it can run smoothly. Next, we have the Skin Tweaks mod by Hissing Fit. This changes the skin tones of Niles, Rinka, Benny, Ignatius, and Nina. Though unlike Shadow of Valentia's mod, this isn't really a fix and is optional whether or not you want it. Next up is the Face Weapon Nerfs Removal mod by Excadrill1201. A common criticism against Fates is that the more powerful weapons are often best ignored due to the step penalties they cause, and this mod removes them. This can vastly change gameplay, so I'd recommend doing some research if you want to use this one. Next up is the Better Amiibo mod by Drop to Ship. 
This is a mod that fleshes out the amiibo characters by making them actual characters. They now have personal skills, death and level up quotes, boss conversations, recruitment, supports, and even endings. And finally, we have the unofficial Gay Fates add-on mod, which is an expansion of the expanded same-sex marriage mod. While the base game allows Korin to marry someone of the same gender as them, this is restricted to only one option per gender and is only available for two out of three paths. Doing this will also lock you out of two separate child units. This mod not only expands the potential partners for Korin, but also allows many of the other characters to marry partners of the same gender as them. As of the making of this video, over 350 custom supports have been added to the game. And if you're worried about losing the child units, there is also the optional Gay Fates Paralog Unlocker mod, which will naturally unlock paralogs if parents get married. The base mod accounts for this and even has unique dialogue with the new potential parents of this mod. The Gay Fates mod was actually the whole reason behind this video. Seeing all of these people come together for this one project is just amazing to me. And I really wanted to just scream about this mod so as many people as possible could learn and possibly try it out for themselves. To any of the mod creators, if you're watching this video, thank you for taking time to breathe new life into these games. Your dedication is appreciated by me and everyone else who decided to try out your creations. Thank you. And I'll see you all next time. Wait, wait, what? Is this one more mod? Okay, breaking news, people. We have one more mod. That's right, the Fire Emblem Fates nude mod. Yeehaw, that's right. This mod makes your unit straight up butt naked. Woo, yeah! I have so many questions to ask you. Promise that we will meet again soon. You didn't think I would actually download that mod, right? Right? Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I wanted to get this video out before Three Hopes came out, so I'm hoping you're watching this before then. I'm going to be making content in that game when I eventually get to play it, so if you're interested, please subscribe. Thank you.